It magically resurrects in early 1900s. Whoa! Look at that! This is what playing cards used to look like about 200 years ago. But wait, there's more. You can see the lady just magically floats. Turns into a snake. <gasps> no. <laughs> TV.com. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, we're exploring the secrets behind 13 antique magic tricks. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. Okay, this one's a super amazing antique magic trick. This is the magic floating lady. Here's a little scaled down pocket version of it. You can see the lady just magically float just like that. Or if you want a bigger version, you can do it like this. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here is the secret of the magic floating lady trick. This thing's so cool. It's a little pocket-sized version of the floating lady. This is a classic antique illusion. Making someone float has been around since the dawn of stage magic. And I'm gonna give this away to one lucky comment at the end of the video. Now the way this works is really cool. It has a little dot right here on the back of the card that slides up and down just like this. And it's attached to a piece of monofilament, like fishing line that runs through the card and is attached to this little cutout of the lady on the front so this is actually not part of the picture it's independent from the rest of the card and it can just move freely up and down just like that super cool it's a really fun thing to just carry around with you and it's totally self-contained all you have to do is slide this up and down stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win this really cool pocket trick okay i have a really cool card trick to show you with these antique playing cards these are really old playing cards from the 1800s check those out Ooh, those cool? yeah go ahead here why don't you just touch the back of anyone you want. Just, okay. Or actually, you can pick it from looking at it. Right. Doesn't matter, pick anyone you want. Got one, okay. Can show it to the camera. It. Doesn't matter if I see it. Okay. Got it, all right, I'll take the card back from you. Do you know when playing cards were invented? 1831. Close, it was actually in the year 1000, a little bit before oh. the year 1000. So we're gonna take your card and I'm gonna put it back in the old deck of okay. cards just like this. If you will, do me a favor and push it into the deck just like that and just square it up, perfect. Now, we're gonna take your card, we're gonna mix it back okay. into the deck just like this and now look, if I snap, it disappears out of the deck. What do you mean? It I vanishes, do you know where it goes? Ah! Is that your card? Yeah. I'll show you the secret right now. These are the coolest playing cards. They're a reproduction of a deck circa 1800. The artwork on them is just fantastic. This is what playing cards used to look like about 200 years ago. And they were just blank on the back. People use them to make notes a lot. So what you're gonna do for this trick, you can do this with a modern day deck of cards. You don't need antique playing cards, but if you want to win these, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm giving away this deck to one lucky comment. All you're going to do, you can have the person pick whatever card they want. Let's say they go with the Queen of Spades. When they hand the card back to you, you're going to slip it underneath the top card of the deck. And then you want to execute a double lift. You're going to show their card, flip it over, and put it back in the middle of the deck just like this. It's actually not their card, it's the top card. You're then going to cut off the top portion and tell them to push this card in. While they're pushing this card in, which they believe is their card, it's actually not, you're going to take that moment of misdirection to stick their card to your forehead or tuck it into your glasses. Take the rest of the cards, shuffle them up, and say, look, your card's going to disappear from the deck. It's gone. They can look through. Their card really is gone. And then you just wait for their attention to turn to you. You can just naturally wait for their attention to turn from the deck up here. Or if you say something like, do you know where it went? That will generally bring their eyes up. And when they see the card stuck to your head, they'll have a good laugh and they'll be completely amazed because they'll have no idea how you got it there. Try it out at home and fool your friends and family. And now I'm here with Jason the Great and Brad Dot Smith, and we're showing you some more antique magic tricks. Jason has a really cool one to show yeah. us. Let's check it out, man. Are you ready? I'm All ready. right. This is really cool. Look at this. Sweet. Nothing inside. Right. Right. Nothing in there. I can right. put my hand in there, though. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, show you this. Nothing inside. Yes. Agreed. Right? Yes. Yeah. Empty. All you do, 
Snap your fingers. I'm gonna let Brady do the magic. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa look at that. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Oh, goodness. Came out of that little one. Dude. Now the part everyone's been waiting for, how the tricks are done. Jason, take it away. Here we go. This is really cool. Now you show this, you show this, right? But here's what you don't see. Look at this. But if I place it here, look, you can't see it. This is what they call black art. Now they don't use that much nowadays. Some they might use it in bigger illusions sometimes, but that way you don't even see that. So we got this here, the square. You can see how it's painted black all inside of it. And they do that, that way this matches. This is like a black felt material, Jason? Yeah, black felt. Kind of a fabric material so it absorbs light. Yeah. So it blends in better and that just fits right down inside there. Wow. You see? You really can't see it. A foot away, you still can't see it. All you have to do is just remember, make sure this is in there every time you pick this one up. You can actually pick them both up like this. It's really not in there. Everything's contained in there. And do we have any idea when this was invented? Maybe. Early 1900s. I still will perform this today actually if I'm doing like a kid's birthday party or yeah. something like this where you Classic produce a trip. lot of silks. So whatever you can fit in that tube. You can make appear. Yeah. I guess you can use it to make things disappear too. Yeah, right? you make them disappear too. But you cannot even see it. And that's what they call black Art. Okay, this is a classic illusion. This is called the magic spirit bell. This is something that used to be done by clairvoyance and mediums, and it was presented as legitimate as if they were summoning spirits to ring the bells. Really? What they would do is they would take a piece of rope and they would have themselves <laughs> bound inside a spirit cat, which would be made of a cloth like this, or it could even be made of wood. So if you would take the rope and just bound my hands to my legs so that there's no way I could move. The concept is I'm bound so there's no way that the bell could be wrong. So once they were secure, they would then have someone raise the curtain on the spirit cabinet. <clears throat> like part of this. And then the bell would just magically ring. <laughs> the cabinet would then be lowered and the clear water medium would still be bound. And the explanation is that spirits were ringing the bell. You want to know what's up? Yeah. Okay, here is the secret to the magic spirit bell trick. It's actually really simple. So you might be thinking that I'm somehow slipping out of this rope, but I'm not. My hands stay tied the entire time. Here's what's going on behind the curtain. You just ring it with your mouth. This is a trick that is hundreds of years old. Try that at home and fool your friends and family. All right, this is a super crazy thing that we just found in Jason's magic collection. I don't even know how old this is, dude. I looked it up at 1930s. 1930s, yeah. wow. So this is a like book it. of old, like, Houdini magic tricks. It's called a big little book. It looks so, so big, but it's little. And there is a lot of really cool tricks in oh, there, there's too. There's a hundred tricks in there. One of the tricks from the book we're gonna attempt for you right now. So we've got a glass here mm -hmm. on the table. Here we go. Get a little bit of static electricity. Place your hand right on top of the glass. Whoa. This is really simple and it's pretty much totally self-working. It's all just the moisture that's naturally on your hand and you want a glass with kind of a curved bottom. So you're gonna use the natural shape of the glass and just press your palm onto it and it should suction into place where it looks like the glass is just magically sticking to your hand. This little book is just packed full of so much cool stuff. Oh, Whoa. what's this, Evan? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh man, that is autographed by me, you, and Brad. So if you want to win the sign card, it's got all three of our autographs on it, Head over to Jason's channel. He's given away three of these. Leave a comment on his most recent video. Let him know you're from Evanera TV and you can win an autographed card from all three of us.
This is the classic cups and balls illusion. This trick has existed since the ancient times. It's one of the earliest magic tricks on record. It dates back to 2700 BC when Didi performed it for the pharaohs in Egypt. And it works by having an extra ball. We have this version of the cups and balls available at EvanEraTV.com right now. It's a classic trick that should be in every magician's collection. Here is how you do the cups and balls. You have the extra ball right here. It starts out in this cup right in the middle. Now the three balls are on the table. You start out by just turning the cups. Secret ball right here. You're just gonna turn them face down just like that. You're gonna take a ball, sit it on top of this cup. Cups go there, snap your fingers, tap it with a magic wand. Boom, the first ball penetrates through the cup. It's actually hidden right there. Now you're all set up to do it again. You just repeat that process. You're gonna take the top cup, set it down. Take the second cup that has the secret ball, set it down on top of the first ball. Other cup goes here, and then you just repeat the process. Snap, and again, repeat the process. And all the work is done. Super easy to do once you understand the secret. The kit comes with everything you need. Three cups, four balls, and a fully detailed set of instructions on how to perform the trick. Perfect for magicians of all ages. It's designed by professional magicians and it will last you for thousands of performances. Okay, so this one works similarly. It's actually a really cool empty box. You can see, totally empty. Perfect. Oh, nothing in there. Okay, totally empty, legit. We also have another box right here. Just gonna lower it like this and check it out. This one's empty too. Nothing inside, right? Right. Now right. watch. If you reach in, a little magic. Get a magic silk scarf to appear. Oh wait, there's more. I'm gonna show you the secrets of how these antique illusions work right now. Okay, now Brad and I are gonna show you how this one's done. Let's check it out. Okay, so just like the other trick, this has a secret compartment. Shoot. Compartment. Oh, my bad, my fault. Pick it up with both hands Two right compartment. here. Compartment. Okay. And then show it like that, okay? Alright. Okay. Okay, so. Ready? Okay, so just like the other trick, this has a secret compartment in it too. Look. Look at that. So you're gonna hide this inside before the trick starts. The audience never knows this is there. And they're gonna view it from the front angle and you never expose the inside of this box. So you're gonna start out by showing the interior of the small one and then you're gonna take the big one. You can see this is mounted in here on these two little clips like this. It's got like little arms right here on the top. It's completely black so it hides on the inside. So it starts out hidden in there. So you're gonna take this one and lower it into this box like this, just like that. Those little arms are gonna catch on the outside of the smaller box. And you can lift this out and show the big one empty. Now you can lift this up and show the big one empty as well. You want to press those clips to the side so that the audience doesn't see them. Now you can take the smaller box, the big one goes right on top, reach down inside and produce whatever it is you want to appear from inside. Super easy to do once you know the secret. This trick is really old. I yeah. have no idea how old this is. I, I've never even performed it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time for everything. All right, we're going biblical with this one. You remember okay. the staff of Moses from the Bible? Yeah. Where the staff turns into a snake. <laughs> what you need to pull this off is a spring snake. This is a classic prank. This gets coiled up inside like a Pringles can. But what we did here is we actually opened up the spring snake and we're gonna slide the staff down through the spring. So the snake can be coiled up just like this. Where the staff turns into a snake. <gasps> No. Okay, this one is the oldest trick in this video. It's so old that it's existed on this planet before people and even before dinosaurs. This is the magic resurrection plant. Check it out. And just like that, it magically resurrects into a living, healthy, green plant. Okay, this is one of the most amazing things I've ever shown in the video. I'm super excited to share it with you. This is a resurrection plant. It's also called a dinosaur plant, or the technical name for it is a Selaginella lepidophila. So what's so amazing about this plant is it's so old, older than mankind. It predates all human life on this planet. It actually predates all dinosaur life on this planet. This plant has existed for over 400 million years. It's so old. In addition to that, it can survive in almost any climate. That's why it's survived for so long. You can throw it into an arid desert and it will just dry up like this. So all the leaves curl up and it will just stay like this for decades until it gets some water and then it will bloom and grow again. And it will just repeat that cycle of going dormant and growing again 
forever until something destroys it. So all you have to do is take this, set it in water, and it will magically grow. It takes a couple hours, so what you're seeing is a time lapse of it growing. Once the proteins in the plant are moisturized again, they then absorb sunlight and it continues to grow. Stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm giving away a dinosaur plant to one lucky comment. Okay, you guys have seen Jason here on our show before, he's gonna show us a really cool coin trick. Let's check it out. All right, Evan, for this, all you need, a 50 cent piece, okay. I'll let you check it out. Yep. And you need a glass jar. We're gonna watch one, Two. Whoa! Right no holes or nothing in the lid. Just a regular piece of glass. There you go. That's Figure awesome. that one out. If you want to learn the secret of how this is done, head over to Jason's channel. There's a link in the description. He explains this and a lot of other cool, really basic, easy magic tricks that anyone can do. Check out the link in the description. Jason has a ton of really cool magic. And check out Brad's TikTok. Also, if you're on TikTok, you can find Brad at brad.smith. Jason's on there a lot too. Ton of magic, really cool stuff. You're almost at like a million followers on there, right? Yeah. They can get us there. Please go follow, check it out. Links are in the description of this video. One of the most popular early stage illusions was for the magician to escape from some kind of restraint. Houdini was made famous for these sort of feats, and this is one that you can perform at home. So we have a chain binding my wrist together, super tight, there's no way I can escape, but with a secret that I'll teach you in a second, you can escape in just a moment. Watch, count of three, one, two, three. And I magically escape the chains. The lock is still attached, you can hand this out for examination, and your audience will be completely astounded. Let me show you how it's done right now. This is so easy to do. Anyone can perform this escape in a matter of seconds. You need no practice at all. It comes with the special chain that you need, the lock, a set of keys for the lock, and a full set of instructions that will teach you how to perform the trick in a matter of minutes. Get one today at EvanAraTV.com and add a cool chain escape to your magic routine. All right, that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it as well. We make new magic videos like this every single week on this channel, so be sure to subscribe for weekly uploads. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. If you want to win any of the magic tricks, leave a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. I'll be going through the comment section, reading all your comments and picking some random comments and mailing you out the magic so you can perform these tricks at home. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Send us an email with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Send your email to this email address on the screen. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video, leave a comment down below and be subscribed to Evanera TV. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.